Velo Legends and Super Legends. Welcome to Velo Harmony. Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the stripped uh, threads in your cycling shoes. Now it, it may vary depending on what brand of shoe you have, but the process is similar. Uh, these, are, these are shoes made by Giro. This is my Rafa. I got this from Rafa, but Giro actually makes the sole. Um, so all the Giro shoes should, should be pretty much consistent here. Now, I'm sure no matter how careful you are, at some point you may run into an issue where you go to tighten your bolt on your shoe and then all of a sudden you realize it doesn't tighten anymore. The threads are gone. And a lot of times when you unscrew it, the thread just comes out because it's basically unwound from the little uh, uh, nut that it sits in. So it's like a little space, a, a flat spacer that it thread they, they cut the threads into and those threads can unwind after a while if you've, if you've been tightening them too long. So I wanted to do this video to help out those of you who may be looking for how do I replace the thread in my shoe that holds the cleat in place. So if that happens to you, the first thing you want to do, of course, unscrew the nut, the bolt, take the spacer out from there. It will look like that. And basically, you want to go inside the shoe. Take the sole out. And inside the shoe, there is a, there is a cutout. I'm going to bring it close to the camera. There is a cutout inside the shoe. And I hope the camera can pick it up. Let me use something to lift it. Let's see here. Uh... I'm going to use this exacto knife, which is something similar that you may need. Because what they do is they, they put an indentation in most shoes. I'm going to get the tongue out of the way so you can see this. Right there. So they, they pretty much, they, they cut it as like a stamp, but it's not fully separated. So you need like a little exacto knife to kind of... The line is in there, and you can kind of cut it open. And so once you lift that, see that? You can see the bolt under there. That's, that's the bottom of the shoe. You want to lift that cutout. That cutout will come out. If it doesn't lift, take the X-Acto knife and cut along the lines that's already there to kind of stamp it in place. So you want to lift that, and once you turn it upside down, it will fall out. And this is what you're trying to get to. This little thing here. The threads are in there. You need to, you need to have the replacement. They sell these for all the shoes. And this one here comes in a pack. And they have like six or eight of them. You can get them online. I will put a link on, my, on the video for, for where you can get it on my website. That should help you guys who need to procure it. But it's different for every shoe. So you want to make sure you get the one for your shoe. Your brand. This is for Giro shoes. All the Giro shoes use the same thing. So you're going to be replacing that little piece of hardware. That's where the threads are. So you take the replacement and the, 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 the cutout that I showed you, you want to kind of lift the cutout. And the replacement just kind of goes in place. Just put it under the cutout. I didn't cut, you don't want to cut it completely, you just want to cut enough to where you can get to the, the nut you're dealing with. And it, it lays back down when you're done. And you can see it's like three different sides, so you want to make sure it sits in that hole because they're not, it's not a square. There's a bit of a, it's a bit of a slant on one side. You can see, you want to line it up in the shoe so it doesn't move around. They have the whole set a particular way so it sits based on the cutout. So you want to make sure that that slanted part sits in the right side. It's usually to the left. When you put it in there, it just kind of fits in there. If it doesn't go in easily, that means you're lining it up wrong. You can just kind of turn it around to you. Till it just, just kind of goes in because once you get it right, it just goes in place.
there. So now it's in place. And that's what you see at the bottom of the shoe. And so what you would do now is you just lay, your, lay the cut out back in place because you're going to step on it with the sole of the shoe. So it's not going to go anywhere. But you want to make sure you hold that down because if you leave it, that can fall back out because you've already cut the cut out out of place. So what you want to do then is to take your new bolt. I've already put some grease on here. You want to put a little bit of grease on the threads. Not much, just, in, just a little bit on there. And you want to put your spacer in place. And you just basically screw that into the new one. I'm going to use this tool and just spin it. And I just did that uh, to show you guys the exercise. The, the one in here that I took out was a bit old. It was grimy. I'd ridden in the rain. I lube it, you know. So I just wanted to use this opportunity to show you guys this exercise. But the key is to make sure that when you're tying down these nuts, as soon as it stops, you're done. You don't need to be torquing on them because those threads are very fragile. And they actually, uh, if, when you get them in place, they actually tighten over time. So anytime you ride in the rain, you want to make sure you take out your bolt one at a time, put a little bit of grease on it, clean the debris out and put it back in because they're not stainless steel. They rust. Okay. They're just, they're just common steel that hardware that they use under here. So when you ride in the rain a lot, if you don't lubricate these over time, they can seize in there and it can be a pain to get out. I mean, that you, you'll get them out eventually, but, but it's a pain. So it's better to just keep them lubed. And that's it. That's how you do it. So depending on your brand of shoe, you want to look inside, take out the sole and see where your cutout is that I was showing you. But you will see the cutout, you'll see the indentation. And you want to use an X-Acto knife to finish the cutout because they just kind of stamp it. They don't cut it all the way through and through. So you can start it with your hand, but then it starts sticking. And if you try to just rip it, it will tear. So if you're going to get in there, you want to use an X-Acto knife and cut along the line. So it's nice and neat. So once you've done your repair, when you lay it back down, it's in place. Like mine's laying right back down nice because I cut along those lines. If you just pull it, it can tear and it'll just be a mess in there. So that's pretty much how you get to your hardware. Uh, you know, but before you get in there, make sure you have the replacement for your for your your shoe and you can get them online. I'll put the link in the description where you can get them. But I just wanted to make a quick quick video to let those of you who might have this issue that you don't need to run to the bike shop for something like this because they probably won't even have your hardware there and they'd have to order it anyway. And then you'd be waiting on that. So keep that in mind. Keep up with your shoes and how you know when when your bolts, uh, when your threads are ready to uh, are getting close to going. When you start to turn the nut, it will seem rough. You know, instead of just turning smoothly before it actually binds, it will start turning rough, roughly. When it starts acting rough like that, what that means is the thread that they cut in there is now unwinding because literally it unwinds like a coil when it's going bad. So when it starts to unwind, it starts binding in the wrong spots. So then every time you turn, even before you've put the, the bolt in there all the way, it's rough and it's not smooth. Once it starts doing that, it's time to start thinking about getting a replacement uh, uh, thread nut for, for your shoe. That's the way you kind of keep up with those kind of things. Um, I wanted to do this exercise to so just put it in the maintenance videos for those of you who might want to uh, repair your own, replace your bolt in your shoe because they are replaceable now. This doesn't represent all the shoes that are out there, but the theory is the same. They make these shoes to where you're not going to throw your shoe away because the thread gets uh, uh, messed up. So they're designed to be replaceable. You just need to go in there and look how yours is set up. It's the same process and open the flap. And you'd probably have to cut it, like I said, regardless of what brand of shoe you have. But make sure you get the hardware that you need to replace first before you get in there and start doing stuff. So hope this helps you guys out. No matter what, get your miles in.